Well, hey there and welcome. I'm Keenan, and this is the Clear English Corner. In this lesson, we're talking about the number one way to improve your English pronunciation and the single thing you must do if you really want to make some serious progress. So let's get to it. What is the single best way to improve your English pronunciation? It's imitation. Listening to and repeating a speaker that you admire. This sounds so simple, but think about it. Your English doesn't sound the way you want it to because you learned it after your first language. And you learned English primarily through the written word. When you learn a language this way, the tendency is to apply the sounds and rhythms of your first language to that new language. But think for a moment about how we learn our first language as kids. Toddlers don't learn language from textbooks. Kids just listen. From the moment they exit that birth canal, those ears are picking up signals and sending them to the brain. And the brain is registering, ah, these sounds mean something. Then when kids begin to talk, they sound like the people around them because they're imitating everything they've been hearing. This is why my two-year-old niece, who loves to talk, 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 and she's quite a little singer too, she can spit out sentence after sentence, and I may not understand every word she's saying, but it still sounds right because it's familiar. She's matching the rhythm and the music of the language she hears around her. She's imitating. Ideally, when we learn a new language, we would learn it primarily through listening. This was likely not the case for you in learning English, but it's not too late. You just need to shift your focus. You have to consciously pursue ear training. You can't begin to speak a language differently until you start to hear it differently. Pay close attention to the sounds that you hear, but even more important, pay attention to the rhythm and the melody. What words does the speaker emphasize? How is the voice rising and falling from word to word? And if you really want to amplify your progress, there's one single thing you absolutely must do. You must record yourself. I know, ah, it's so hard to listen to yourself on audio or watch yourself on video, but I can 100% promise you that students who take this extra step, who record themselves consistently and objectively review these recordings, make exponentially more progress than those who don't. And I can also 100% promise you that listening to yourself gets much easier the more you do it. In fact, it becomes exponentially easier if you can just get past that first time of recording yourself and listening to yourself. So here's what effective practice looks like using imitation. First, select a quick passage. 30 to 60 seconds, from a podcast, an audiobook, a speech you enjoyed, check out TED Talks, or even a quick clip from a TV show or a movie. Listen to that passage, paying close attention to the rhythm and the melody. Which words are most prominent? How is the speaker's voice rising and falling on those words? Then get your recording device. Use your phone. There's an app for that right there at your fingertips. I like to use voice memos on my iPhone. Then record yourself as you play a phrase or sentence from your chosen practice material and repeat that sentence. You want to make sure you record both the audio model and your imitation. Do this for the whole passage. Remember, you're being extra mindful of matching the rhythm and melody of the speaker's voice. It doesn't matter if you don't get every single word. Then 
review the recording. Listen to yourself. Be objective. Does your rhythm and melody match the speakers? Do you need to emphasize certain words more? Are there certain sounds that are missing or that don't sound quite right? What would you like to change? And what do you like about what you hear? Step out of that habit of being overly critical of yourself and begin to recognize progress and improvement. This can be simple observations like, my R is sounding so much better. I'm really clear on the most important words here. I can tell I'm being mindful of my pace. Make observations of your progress and what you like about what you hear. Then repeat this exercise. Record yourself again as you imitate, focusing on making the adjustments and changes that you want to make. This is an extremely powerful practice approach. It's what we use in every session inside my pronunciation training program, Cautious to Confident. And my students will tell you, this kind of practice gets results. The fact is, if you can fit just five to 10 minutes of deliberate imitation practice into your daily routine, you will build real progress. Tiny steps forward each day result in massive leaps of progress over time. So how will you integrate imitation practice into your daily routine? Is there anything you love listening to that you can start using for practice today? Let me know in the comments below. That's all for today, my friend. I hope you found the lesson helpful. As always, thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you next time.